All right, Shalom Aki. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. The why of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the right way to do this thing in truth, sincerity, so that we may be saved from the said perils. And Shalom to the elect, okay, for taking heed into the warning, into the message. All right, and running with the baton, teaching, uh, learning for yourself, and teaching the, uh, more in a, in a like mind and a like spirit, the elect. And I want to get into this article, in which me and the Akia, uh, we had did a lesson on it yesterday. Well, we had did a lesson on basically a few articles, um, entitled "Um, what is the coronavirus, vaccines, and microchip have in common?" But I wanted to highlight this article because I kind of touched on it in a lesson, but um, hey, I felt it to be a, a very heavy article. I actually found it on Zero Hedge, and um, hey, Zero Hedge, you know that's a good site. It's a so-called um alternative news media, and it tells you it gives you the straight skinny of what's going on around the world, too. You know. And it helps. Why does it help? So you can be circumspect and you can see what's going on. The scriptures tell us to be circumspect. Because we understand that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai comes as the thief in the night. All right. And we don't know, although we don't know the exact hour, the Most High gives us signs to look for. All right. The Most High gives us signs to look for to understand how close he is. All right. The scriptures say before it come forth, I tell you of it. In Isaiah, I believe the forty-second chapter. So, um, this is from the site SHTF Plan, or shit hits the fan. All right, and it says leaked COVID, standing for coronavirus, nineteen documents, hospitals prep for ninety-six million infections and four hundred and eighty thousand deaths. Leaked medical conference documents have warned that hospitals across the United States are preparing for 96 million coronavirus infections. Not only that, but the same document wants hospitals to make preparations for 480,000 deaths from this outbreak. The American Hospital Association, AHA, conference in February reveals that U.S. Uh, hospitals are preparing for 96 million coronavirus infections, 4.8 hospitalizations from the infection, and 480,000 deaths in the United States. So from these numbers, you can tell that Esau has something up his sleeve. All right, because the numbers that he gives out now, you know, 50 here, 13 there, you know, um, I believe in total is probably like a thousand. Um, I want to say inf infected so far, you know, but Esau Edom, we understand that he never tells you the whole truth, you know, he might, you know, tell you, yeah, it's dangerous. All right. If that, you know, but, um, he doesn't tell you what's going on in actuality. You know, he makes it seem like he wants to quarantine you for your own safety, not allow your kids to go to school. All right. But really, behind closed doors, all right, he plans on chipping you. He plans on, you know, coming down, having great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. You know, and, and it's beautiful, man, because, you know, Esau is basically licking his chops. You know, he's, he's as the scriptures say, in, um, let's see, Ezekiel. Twenty one and nine. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say, Swore they swore to sharpen and also furbish. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? All right, so that swore, according to Psalm 17 and 13, is Esau Edom. All right, Esau is the Lord's sword. Now, the Most High is getting ready to swing his sword to pass judgment. All right, the Most High is getting ready to swing his sword, passing judgment 
upon those that have sinned against him. All right, upon the Egyptians. All right, and those in, all right, upon the Egyptians. All right, which are you Edomites and those that subscribe to their uh, uh, philosophies, their wickedness. All right, because their ways teach to go against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. When really we're supposed to go for uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it is also sharpened to make a sore a sore slaughter. All right, so Esau Edom, his plans are basically being implemented as far as the coronavirus. All right, which you know Esau pushes it and you know pushes it in front of your face, makes you nervous about it. To eventually, you know, all right, here's the solution, okay? So that sword is being sharpened. Another way, as I mentioned before, that the sword is being sharpened is because Esau Edom, he wants all these stuffs. When you go into the Georgia Godstones, all right, and just down there in Atlanta where you have the CDC, all right, you have uh, what is a, a large field, uh, you know, with uh, coffins, you know, that, that fits. I believe you can put two or three bodies in there at once. So Esau is ready and preparing, all right, for mass deaths. So that sword is being sharpened, man. You know? And um, hey, the point I wanted to make before is beautiful, too, because here it is. Esau, you know, the most high is allowing Esau to get more prideful, seeing that or believing that his plans are coming to pass. But guess what? The Lord is watching his ass, man. You know, because another, uh, you know, major event that's ha that has happened, um, Dabu7, he did a, a video on it. The Apostle uh, Tahar touched on it as well. I just noticed is that there is a chariot or a so-called UFO larger than the size of Earth, you know? And um, we understand, as it's written in Psalms, uh, was that 106? Uh, or no, Salakia 69, which is the chariots of the most high, thousands, even thousands. The Lord is among them. Okay, so the Lord is among the chariots. All right, so the Lord is watching Esau um, do his wickedness. All right, and the Lord is not going to suffer um, the righteous anymore under the hand of this devil. All right, this is why. We understand in us of the hopeful elect, we're happy. Now, you may say, oh, why are you happy? All this death is about to come. Well, guess what? Death has to come in order for life, man. You know? You know? The wickedness has to be destroyed in order for life to spring up, man. You know? Uh, World War Three has to spring up. Uh, what else? World War Three has to spring up. Many people have to die two-thirds as it is written. All right, and um, hey, the elect has to be, uh, some of them may have to be martyrs, you know, and, um, you know, uh, the Lord's chosen has to be glorified, you know, so all these things have to happen, um, you know, in order for the kingdom to come. That's just how it works. You go into Matthew 24. Um, the disciples ask, you know, how do we know when you're going to come back? Because they constantly ask, ask the Lord, when, how do, how do we know when he's going to come back? And, um, one sure way is, as I was going into the, t the signs, you know, they're always signs, you know, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, uh, um, pestilences, earthquakes, um, Famines, race wars, people uh, of nation against nation. We see all these things that are happening upon the earth. All right. So it says, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. You know, and it proves that, you know, as, you know, death is coming, we should get more serious about serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He have given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Okay. So going back into the article now, it says, according to Business Insider, 
These leaked documents are telling Dr. James Loyler, a professor at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, presented the harrowing best guess estimates of the extent of the outbreaks to hospitals and health professionals as part of the AHA web binder called What Healthcare Leaders Need to Know Preparing for the COVID-19 on February 26. These documents paint a bleaker picture for those who are over the age of 60. According to the leaked documents, people aged 80 and over have a 14.8% chance of dying if they con if they contract the infection the slides revealed the risk declines with use through those aged 70 through 79 and 60 through 69 are still placed at a significant risk with 8% and 3.6% mortality rates respectively additionally it's worth noting that Dr. Loyer, that Dr. Loyler's estimate of 480,000 deaths will indicate a death rate of just half a percent, which is significantly lower than death rates being reported by the WHO and the nation in the nation of Italy. If the death rate in the United States reached just 2%, while 98 million Americans are infected, that will result in 1.92 million deaths okay and going back into the georgia guy stones um that's what makes me uh make the claim of esau has to be doing something else out there to elevate these deaths you know because to according to the georgia guy stones they want to reduce the population to five to under 500 million and it's already what seven or eight billion people on the earth seven billion let's say let's say seven billion you know, that means they want to kill off 6.5 billion people, you know, and, um, you know, Esau has certain scenarios that he runs, as we see, as we're reading, um, Esau has, has certain scenarios that he runs, you know, to, un to find out the mortality, um, of a particular, um, you know, um, uh, you know, flu or, or, or you know, infectious disease. It says the United States has fewer than 1 million hospital beds and they are typically around 75% occupied by existing patients unrelated to the coronavirus. Which um, leads me, what's the, there's a precept that says uh, the dead should not be buried. You know, because for most people, it's going to show you that for most people, they, they're just going to... Uh, you know, they're just going to be on their own. They're going to be left untreated, you know, and it's going to get very bad out there. They're dead. Uh, dot, um. Second Ezra 16 and 23, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. Let me see if I may have to read up. I'll start at second Ezra 16 and uh 17 it says what was me what was me who would deliver me in those days all right because ezra's had such a vivid uh it was i wouldn't say a dream i would say more so of a vision of that hectic times that are coming that's why he said what was me what was me who would deliver me in those days because all around him he saw death destruction the beginning of sorrows and great mournings the beginning of famine and great death. You know, I was thinking about the brother uh, Kasap out there in the um, the brother Kasap out there in the um, DC camp. The elder brother, he had a dream, and um, he was saying how I believe he said he he was in the park, and it was basically like uh, I think like it's a bunch of people uh being shot down. You know, but he saw the elders, I believe he was saying, just sitting on the bench and they were safe. 
you know. Then he wake, then he woke up like in a, in a panic, in a frenzy because it, that's how real it felt, you know. So you could just imagine um, the vision on, on, of Ez, that Ezra saw and how he felt after he came out, you know, out of the trance, so to speak. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famines and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine. All right, which famine been started? You had something uh, last year that came out called Farmageddon. And plagues. Plagues, all right, coronavirus will be considered a plague. As a matter of fact, there's articles that say the World, the World Health Organization just labeled the coronavirus as a pandemic. This is behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges and you're going to have people who still you know making light of the uh corona uh, virus still making memes of world war three behold victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Okay? Because it's coming the time now to where out there people are looting. Not looting, but um, hoarding. You know, buying more food than they actually need for fear of, you know, a lockdown coming. You know, and those that don't have, guess what? They're going to rob those that do. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, okay? So the ones that do have the food are going to get shot down by the ones that don't have the food. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down, Okay? And it says uh, back into the article, the United States has fewer than one million hospital beds and they are typically around 75 percent occupied by existing patients. Unrelated to the coronavirus, Natural News has calculated that U.S. hospital beds will be overrun by May 30th if nothing is done to stop the exponential spread of the coronavirus. So death is, hey man, death is here, man. You know, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Mike Adams, the health ranger at Natural News, has a new video out uh, presenting the math and statistics found in these leaked documents. This health ranger report pandemic podcast. Yeah, man, so great death is coming, man. You know? And this is why. Second Andrews 15 and 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things. So don't say why, you know, say damn, you know, because now you're caught in your wickedness, man. You know, as I said before, Esau, you know, the most is going to come back, the scriptures say when he is eating, all right, when you put in hell upon uh, the Lord's chosen, he's going to come back in the midst of all that, man. You know, and you think you, you good? Nah, hell nah. And that's the same thing with two-thirds of Israel, man. You know, certain rappers, you know, uh, like, what's that dude, Jay-Z, made his first billion. All right? You know, now it's easy as hell to be a rapper. Everybody coming up, you know. Certain, uh, Jake's getting into the entrepreneur uh, thing now. The most is going to come back in the midst of that, man. You know? Because at the same time, you know, there's rapid homosexuality, you know, rapid adultery. You know, there's no judgment, no righteous judgment going out. 
you know, women have uh, basically shitting on uh, the men, just all types of, uh, you know, um, chaos going on. So the Lord is getting ready to come back to stop that, man. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. You can't say you didn't know because the prophets is out there, man. All right. And, you know, the Most High said he's going to cause our tongue to cleave to the roof of our mouth in the book of Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, 12 and 21, I want to say. You know, so the Most High is going to turn our words into his actions, man. Because that's what, you know, that's what we do, man. We prophesy or we speak of the actions that the Lord is, is, is going to commit, you know. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. It's locked here. I'll just read it again. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And we see, um, you know, that the Lord is hearing our prayers. You know, please, you know, establish the just. All right. But judge the wicked. We ask the Lord that, man, in our prayers. You know, we throw curses up on this place and we pray for the elect, man. You know, and us, we're not really shocked. We've been talking about this for years, man. Starting with our apostles and their elders, man. You know, our apostles and, and yeah, and their, their elders, man. Starting with our bivens on down, man. And therefore, saith the Lord. I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent from blood from among them. So all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold my people. So the Lord is not going to come back to save everybody. All right. That Christianity shit is not going to hold, a, 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 they say, a candle to a flame in that day, man. Behold my people is led as they flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with that mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seeds shall fail through the blasting in hell and with their fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. Hey man, so more death is coming. Um with that, Lord willing you I can edify. Shalom to the elect.